Oh, hi. Oh, right. I still have my studio lights in the other. <laughs> we'll take care of it. We're going outside anyway, so I'll, I'll fix the lighting in here afterwards. But y'all, oh, also I have plastic on my head. I'm dyeing my hair. It's been a while since I've done like the whole thing, like bleached it, lightened up all the color, and then added the blue. I'm very excited, but I want to let it sit as long as I can. Anyway, I realized how insane it looked, so figured I'd address it. It reminded me that there's something I want to paint and then we'll need to let dry. And it's finally fucking nice out this week. So we're gonna get to it. Here's a thing I bought that I probably didn't need to buy, but I've got ideas, y'all. So it's obviously set up as like a calendar. I actually already have something like this, as you can kind of see there. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I am so sorry, but also welcome. I can't imagine it gets weirder than this. No sense in pretending I'm not like a giant fucking weirdo. I don't like the numbers on it. I don't need the numbers on it. I'm like pretty meh about the, the natural fiber color. So I actually just got some black spray paint. It's like a metallic black. And I feel like this will be a good thing to test it out on. Cause this, this is just, it's gonna hang up in my shop. I'll show you where I plan to hang it after. It's gonna hold small pattern pieces. And also like if I cut out a bunch of material for zipper pouches or like dice bags and just smaller things, and I wanna keep them together, I can keep those in each of these pockets. And I want to maybe label them, or I was thinking, I have a lot of iron-on patches and buttons and enamel pins, and I don't have them out on display anywhere. So I think having them on the fronts of the pockets would be really cool. And then still, yeah, have the pocket be functional with other stuff inside. So yes, this is the plan, as I'm gonna paint it. And I figure some type of black is gonna be the only thing to really cover up all the numbers. Uh, not that it's like the end of the world that they're there, but I, I wanna decorate kind of over all of this. We're gonna, we're gonna paint this baby. So got this done. I'm very into the color this turned out. I am a little sad already because it's nice and sunny out and I know I'm going to be spending a lot of time outside this summer and like this particular week because it's leading up to Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, it's not gonna stay this good this long. Final result for here. It's fine. Um, I was hoping to cover up the letters more. Yeah, I just figure because it's like a natural fiber it would have taken the color better. I had thought about like dyeing it or something, but especially with all the pockets and shit, that just, it would have been a nightmare and it's really stiff. I have you facing this way. And also you will notice it is still dimly lit in here because I didn't put my studio lights up yet. Where I'm standing is where those tripods have to go. I definitely just kicked something. I hurt my ankle. Cool, cool. <laughs> so where is this going to live? Let me show you. I just picked out some screws that I definitely stole from like a boyfriend's wood shop. Just something with some kind of flange at the top. Just so it's not gonna like just rip through the fabric. I was given my very own toolbox full of tools for Christmas this year. I like getting to pick out like the proper size Phillips head screwdriver. And the person that gave it to me didn't pick out like a regular hammer. So I did just buy this for myself the other day. Like I know how to use hammers. I've just never owned my very own. And there's something Something nice and adult about that. Like, yeah, I'm 30, I own my own hammer now and it cost me $6.50. Hey, look at that, beautiful. These are the lapel pins I have that aren't actively in use. This is one of my all time favorites. It's my Nerdfighteria pin, cause I'm a nerd fighter. if you didn't know. Then I also have just a whole bunch of pins, like regular button badges, so. There's ones for bands. There's a whole bunch of like Mighty Boosh ones. So yeah, I'm gonna decorate with some of these and then probably throw some of my like patches up there. Okay, I started filling up some of the pockets and it didn't really occur to me to like check any of them. I didn't feel anything like lumpy and noticeable in any of the pockets cause it's pretty stiff material and like, well, I just started putting this green canvas in here. This crammed in the bottom. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna send that with uh, someone's mail time perk. I don't know. <laughs> As like scraps are getting added, it's going to look very busy and maybe too much so. But if I end up putting mostly like newsprint pieces, I want it to still look fun and not just 
boring and gray. Like most of the stuff up here is either poster board or newsprint, but it has all these fun stripes. So it still looks like fun and it has little buttons for decorations. And I really like how that looks and it gets a lot of use. I'm excited about having this. It's just another way to hoard more shit. So why wouldn't I like it? And it makes me smile seeing like every time I see this patch, I think of going to see Hedwig and the Angry Inch in New York with my sister. And yes, meeting Darren Chris because he has a matching patch and we talked about Harry and the Potters and it was great. But um, yeah, I, it's like a little memory board and I love it. All right, we did the dang thing. Uh, weird lighting and all. It's been a weird productive day so far. I'm going to finally work on something with this. This is like, look, just look. Look at all the stuff. That plus the thing I just hung up was all part of the thrift haul I just did. I wish I got a brighter teal, but there just wasn't a good color for it. So we'll just, we'll go a little more muted, but I'm gonna make an evolution skirt out of this. I think that's my next project and it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I will talk to you all very soon. For those of you wondering, interested, keeping an eye out, I am doing a new product launch on June 1st on my Etsy shop. A few like types of items coming out that I'm excited about. The last one was just earrings, where this is earrings and then some. I'm very, very proud of the things I've been making. I'm gonna try to get a couple other items ready to go before then, because today's the 22nd, so I got, I got a couple days to work on things. But yeah, thank you everyone that's been buying stuff. I had a more successful month in my Etsy shop during May this year than any other time that I've had it open. So I, I feel like I'm not completely fucking up my life working on something like this. I feel like, uh, yeah, I'm heading in a good direction and it's thanks to you all. Oh, I did also mention a mail time perk, maybe sending, I'm, now that I've said it, I'm 100% sending that <laughs> photo to someone. I'm the worst. Um, I'm gonna send that out and my mail time perk, which is over on my Patreon if you are interested in checking any of the tiers out. I post videos early, I post extra like sneak peek things, I post exclusive videos for the Patreon. It's just another spot for us to like hang out and I really appreciate the community I have over there. So y'all are the best. Thank you for letting me do this whole thing. All right, time to caffeine up and uh, get to sewing. I'll see you all on Wednesday with another video. I feel like I'm time traveling.